Hello ladies and gentlemen, scare 2 here bringing you another Minecraft Cold War vehicle tutorial. In this tutorial we'll be going ahead and building the M551 Sheridan. The M551 Sheridan AR slash AAV Armored Reconnaissance slash assault, Airborne Assault Vehicle was a light tank developed by the United States and named after General Philip Sheridan from the American Civil War fame. It was designed to be landed by parachute and to swim across rivers. It was armed with the technically advanced but troublesome M81 slash M81 modified slash M81E1 152 millimeter gun slash launcher, which fired both conventional ammunition and the MGM 51 uh, Shiliga guided anti tank missile. The M551 Sheridan entered service with the United States Army in 1967 at the urging of General Creighton Abrams, the U.S. commander of military forces in South Vietnam at the time. The M uh, 551 was rushed into combat service in Vietnam in January 1969. In April and August 1969, M551s were deployed to units in Europe and South Korea, respectively. Now retired from service, it saw extensive combat in the Vietnam War and limited service in Operation Just Cause in Panama and the Persian Gulf War in Kuwait. Uh, so yeah, a very interesting vehicle and um, a very unique vehicle in the sense that you don't see too many uh, armored vehicles supporting that ability to have a dual purpose gun which can, can fire, that can fire conventional and basically tank rounds and then you have the ability to shoot uh, ATGMs. So uh, really interesting stuff and a really cool little tank. The fact that this thing was amphibious, light enough to be carried and deployed by parachute uh, made it a very versatile and... Uh, interesting little vehicle uh so yeah really interesting vehicle uh overall really cool and uh a very fun build uh that's for sure anyways before we go and jump into the tutorial i just want to go ahead and uh give a little shout out to gavin gavin's videos that uh won a comp competition or a little contest i had on the channel uh, so make sure to check out my community page uh, every once in a while because I do post little uh, opportunities like that where you guys can try to guess uh, a vehicle or try to guess something and uh, have the chance of uh, earning a vehicle request of your choice. So there's fun little giveaways like that I try to do for you guys to help you guys get uh, vehicles if you're choosing. So definitely be sure to check my community pa page out uh, to keep updated on uh, you know possible competitions and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, big uh, congrats to Gavin's videos, and uh, this was his request for winning that build, that little competition. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at the vehicle. We'll obviously get a good look at what we're going to be building before we go ahead and jump into the tutorial itself. Um, obviously, starting off with, we have the gun itself, uh, which is a 152mm uh, gun, and we also uh, the capable of firing ATGMs from it as well. Uh, we got the turret itself, um, pretty standard, nothing too crazy. Um, up on top here... It's got a pretty uh, tall standing uh, 50 caliber uh, machine gun up on top, uh, obviously giving it some pretty good firepower, but pretty cool little uh, armed position up on top there. Uh, we do have some smoke grenade dispensers here on both sides of the turret, as well as little optics and stuff like that, obviously for the gunners, commanders, and all that fun stuff. Um, as we work back our way back, of course, we have the chassis here, nothing real fancy with it, uh, pretty standard, pretty straightforward, and you get to the back here, and again, it's pretty uh, simple and straightforward. As I mentioned, this is an amphibious tank, so this tank could go in a water. Um, so, uh, yeah, very interesting vehicle all the way around. Let's go ahead and move into to the tutorial by beginning with our first layer, layer number one. All right, guys, go ahead and move it into our first layer. We're going to go ahead and start with layer number one. For layer one to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go ahead and place down a green terracotta block down just like this, followed by a stone button on the side of it, item frame, and then a green terracotta block in the item frame like that to go ahead and make this road wheel. Once that's done, come off this green terracotta block forward, place down an air brick slab, followed by an air brick top slab coming off of it like so. After that, going back from this green terracotta block, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair, followed by a second dark oak wood stair right behind it, a green terracotta block, and again on the side of the green terracotta block, a stone button, item frame, and green terracotta block in the item frame. We're going to place down another two dark oak wood stairs back to back to each other, followed by another green terracotta block, stone button on the side, item frame, and green terracotta block in the item frame. And then we're going to go ahead and place down an air brick slab going back, followed by an air brick top slab, and then a dark oak wood uh, trap door coming off that slab like so. With that finished, we're going to go ahead and go up to the front here, go to this air brick slab, place down a row of three of dark oak wood top slabs going to the right from that slab. And then going to the back here, we're going to go ahead and place down a row of three of air brick slabs coming off this uh, nether brick slab right here. So we have three dark oak wood top slabs coming off that nether brick slab like that. Once that's finished, we're going to fill in the space uh, in between those three rows of dark oak wood top slabs with some dark oak wood top slabs, obviously, filling this in and creating the base here for the vehicle. 
with that done, we're going to go ahead and then go to this side and basically copy the same thing we did over on the left side, just over here to this side. So we're going to place our narrow brick slabs in our green terracotta, dark oak wood stairs, green terracotta, dark oak wood stairs, back to back, green terracotta, narrow brick slab, narrow brick top slab, and a dark oak wood trap door on the back there. Also on the sides here, we're just going to place down three stone buttons like this, followed by item frames like that across, and green terracotta in those item frames like so. With that all finished there, that is going to wrap up layer number one. Here's what it should look like from up above. From the side here, pretty straightforward layer. With that, let's go ahead and move on to our next layer, layer number two. All right, guys, moving on to our next layer. We're going ahead and moving on to layer number two. For layer two to begin with, we're going to place down an arabic stair on top of these two arabic top slabs. In the space in between these arabic stairs, we're going to place down a row of three of upside down dark oak with stairs like that. Once that's done, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of three across, followed by another brick, or sorry, dark oak wood slab to both sides, a iron frame on the side, and a green terracotta block in the iron frame. Same thing over here to this side as well, just like that. Once that's finished, we're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across here, followed by another brick top slab on both ends like that. Once that's done, we're going to place down another row of three of green terracotta going across, followed by another brick slab on both ends. Going back from this narrow brick slab, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six narrow brick slabs back. Same thing over here: one, two, three, four, five, and six. In between these uh, narrow brick slabs, we're just going to go ahead and fill this in with six rows of three of green terracotta, like that, to close that space off. With that done, uh, we want to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood slab on this narrow brick top slab on both sides, followed by a row of three of green terracotta across in between those dark oak wood slabs. We're then going to place down an iron frame on the side of these slabs and also a green terracotta block in the iron frame, like so. With that done on top of this wooden trap door, we're going to place down an air brick slab on both sides. And we then want to take our green terracotta and place down a row of three across, followed by a row of three of dark oak with top slabs coming off those three green terracotta blocks like that on the rear. With that all done, uh, here's what we should have uh, from up above here for layer number two. And from the sides, just like that. That right there is going to finish layer two. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number three. All right, guys, moving into our next layer, we have layer number three. For layer three to go and get started with here, we're going to take our green carpet, place down a row of five here across the narrow brick stair and dark oak wood upside down stairs. And coming off these five uh, five uh, green carpets, we're going to go and take wooden trap doors, uh, just your oak wood trap doors, your, your standard ones, and we're going to place down a row of five across. And we're going to go and then open them up like so, so they create like a front screen here across the front that would protect this from... Uh, uh, heat rounds and uh, also uh, some projectiles and stuff like that from the front. We're then going to place down a green carpet to both sides, followed by a row of three of dark oak wood uh, trap doors across. We then want to place down a dark oak wood stair in the middle, dark oak wood slab to both sides, followed by a second slab like that out to the sides. Come off that second slab on the outside, so you're going to place down an iron frame and a snow block in it like that to make the front headlights. Once that's done, go ahead and go back from the stair. We're going to place down a mossy cobblestone wall, followed by a dark oak wood stair coming off both sides of this mossy cobblestone wall, and a dark oak wood slab coming off the stair itself. Actually, sorry, my bad. A dark oak wood stair coming off this stair right here to both sides, like so. So these two stairs here connected to the cobblestone wall uh, should be corner stairs. When that's done there, we're going to take our green terracotta, place down a row of five all the way across. We then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some tripwire hooks, and on both ends, we're going to place down a tripwire hook. With that finished, we're going to place down a row, narrow row of five of green terracotta all the way across. When that's done there, we're going to place down a white concrete block on both ends, followed by a row of three of green terracotta across. We're then going to place down a narrow row of five of green terracotta across, followed by a second row of five. However, this row is going to have a tripwire hook on both ends. We're going to place down a third row of five of green terracotta going across. And we want to go ahead and then place down a fourth row. This fourth row is going to have a stone button on both ends. Uh, once that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta and place down a fifth row of five going all the way across again, just like that. And then we're just going to take dark oak wood slabs, place down a row of five here across the back. We're going to place down an item frame on the two dark oak wood slabs from the side there. We're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some red stained glass. And we also will need uh, some dark oak wood signs. We're going to place down some red stained glass in those item frames and a dark oak wood sign on that slab right there for the taillights. With that all finished, uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves some uh, narrow brick walls and also some black concrete blocks. Now for this, we're going to go ahead and going to this row right here with the, with the stone button. We're going to place down a black concrete block on both sides of the middle block, so just like this. 
And then for right here, we're just going to take our nether brick balls and place down your row three across, just like that. And once you have that all done, this is what you should have from up above for the Sheridan. And here's what it looks like from the side. That right there will wrap up layer number three. Let's go ahead and move on to layer number four. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our next layer, we have layer number four. For layer four, we're going to go ahead and start off by placing down a dark oak with upside down stair on top of this green terracotta block, followed by a dark oak with upside down corner stair to both sides of that stair. Once that's finished, we're going to place down a dark oak with top slab coming off the center stair, followed by a dark oak with sign on both sides of this top slab. After that, we're going to go ahead and place down a second dark oak with top slab coming off this one here, followed by a smooth quartz top slab, and then another dark oak with top slab there on the very end. With uh, that finished there, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a item frame. So for this, we can go very simply into our create a menu, grab ourselves an item frame, and we also need a black concrete block. On the left side, so the left stair here, we're going to place down an item frame with a black concrete block in it like so. After that's all finished there, we're going to go take our green terracotta. We're going to place down a row of three of green terracotta across. We then want to place down a uh, nether brick top slab on both ends just like that. Um, or sorry, my bad. Nether brick top slab is going to go ahead and go off these dark oak wood upside down corner stairs like that to both ends. And we then want to place down wither skeleton skulls around this nether brick top slab like that. After that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and then place down a dark oak wood top slab. That's going to be coming off this uh, green terracotta block. So just like this on both sides. And then a dark oak wood upside down stair going back from this top slab. And a row of three of green terracotta across in between these stairs. After that's done, we're going to place down a second row of three of green terracotta across. Followed by another dark oak wood upside down corner stair on both sides like that. After that's done, we're going to place down a dark oak wood upside down stair in the middle here. Followed by a dark oak, dark oak wood upside down corner stair to both sides. Just like that. After that, we're going to take our dark oak wood trapdoors, place down a row of three across. We then want to grab our stone buttons, and we're going to place down a stone button on both these green terracotta blocks on both sides of these three uh, narrow brick walls. After that's done, we're going to place down a redstone repeater here in the middle. And we're going to flip the notches back as far as we can. Over here on the left side, we're going to place down a rail on that black concrete block. And over here on the right side, we're going to place down a rail on the black concrete block, plus one on this green terracotta block, to look like something like that on the back. And then we just want to go and take a stone button and place down a stone button on this green terracotta block right back from this uh, rail, just like that. And with that all finished, that will uh, complete layer number four. And with that, let's go ahead and move into layer number five. All right, guys, going ahead and moving on to our next layer, we have layer number five. For layer five, to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood slab on top of this dark oak wood upside down stair. We're then going to place down a dark oak wood trap door going forward, followed by a dark oak wood slab. A white carpet and then a green carpet like that to go ahead and finish this off. With that all finished, we're gonna go ahead and start off by going ahead and going to the right side here, placing down a green carpet on this dark oak wood up down stair, and then a redstone uh, comparator that is gonna go ahead and go on this narrow brick top sub like that. We're gonna go ahead and place down a redstone comparator on this narrow brick top sub on the opposite side as well. However, on this side, we're gonna be going ahead and placing down a mossy cobblestone wall on this dark oak wood up down stair, followed by a green uh, terracotta block that comes off of it. We're going to go ahead and place down an item frame, come off this green terracotta block, and in that item frame we want to grab ourselves a white stained glass pane, and we're going to place down a white stained glass pane like that in the item frame like that. When that's all finished there, we're going to go ahead and continue on. We're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence post over here on the left side, followed by a dark oak wood stair like so next to it, a green terracotta block here in the middle, a dark oak wood stair facing the opposite direction as the one on the other side, and a narrow dark oak wood slab the side here. On the back of the stair, we're going to place down an item frame, and in that item frame, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a black bed, place down a black bed here at an uh, angle, so it's sideways, just like that for, the, for that section there. Once that's done, we're going to go ahead and take our green terracotta, we're going to place down a row of three across the middle here, followed by a dark oak wood stair to both ends. Once uh, that's finished there, we're going to go ahead and place down another row of three of green terracotta across, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair on both ends, coming off this dark oak wood stair there. And then on the back here, we're going to place down a dark oak wood stair here in the middle, followed by a dark oak wood corner stair to both sides of that stair. We uh, then also want to go ahead and place down a zombie head in these corners here. So we're going to go ahead and place down a block underneath it, place the zombie head on top of it, just like this to both sides, and delete the block under it so you just have the flowing zombie head there on the sides. And then on the back here, we're just going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood fence gates. We're going to place down a row of three on top of those dark oak wood trap doors. We're going to go ahead and open up the ones on the sides here. And the one in the middle, we're going to go ahead and open up toward the back, like so. And we then just want to take some wooden signs and wrap around the 
uh, fence gates just like this. So we're just going to wrap these around like so. Uh, once that's all finished there, uh, we're also going to go ahead and take a wooden dark oak wood sign and place it down on the side of this dark oak wood fence post. And once you have that all complete, that will complete layer uh, number five. And with that, let's go ahead and move into our final layers. Uh, we're going to go and move into layer six, seven, eight, and nine. We're going to put the antennas on top and the gun and all that stuff. So uh, yeah, with that, let's go ahead and move into our last final layer. All right, guys, going ahead and moving into our last final layers. We have layers six through nine. For these layers to go ahead and get started with here, we're going to go and grab ourselves some iron bars and we're going to go ahead and go to this dark oak wood fence post here. We're going to go ahead and go up four iron bars like this for the radio antenna. And we then want to go ahead and go back to this dark oak wood corner stair and also go back or go up four iron bars as well for the radio antenna like that. After uh, that's all complete there, we're going to go ahead and place down a stone button on this green terracotta block here followed by a spruce wood trap door directly behind it on that green terracotta block. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves a spruce wood stair. We're going to place down a spruce wood, or sorry, a spruce wood slab. We're going to place it down on top of this green terracotta block here. And then going forward from this, we're going to be going ahead and placing down a dark oak wood stair like so. And then behind this uh, spruce wood slab, we're going to place down a dark oak wood up sound stair. So you have something that looks just like that. Uh, once that's finished, coming off this uh, dark oak wood upside down stair, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate like so. Uh, we then want to go ahead and grab ourselves an anvil and another brick stair as well as uh, some end rods we're going to place down an anvil on top of this dark oak wood stair followed by another brick upside down stair coming off of it toward the front and two end rods going forward uh, we're also going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood fence gate coming off the back of this anvil and have it opened up toward the anvil like so with uh, that finished there we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves some dark oak wood signs we're going to place down two dark oak wood signs along the right side here of the gun we're going to place down an item frame on the side of the narrow brick stair to the right. And we want to go ahead and place down a black bed in the item frame like that and turn it sideways. Over here on the opposite side, uh, we're going to go ahead and place down a dark oak wood top slab coming off this narrow brick slab like so. And we also want to go ahead and grab ourselves some wooden trap doors and place down some dark oak wood trap doors on one on top of this dark oak wood slab and one on top of this dark oak wood sign like that on the sides here. Now coming off those uh, dark oak wood uh, wooden trap doors, we're going to go ahead and place down some uh, green banners coming off of them toward the front there and also a redstone repeater with the notches flicked all the way forward like that on the sides. With that done, uh, we're going to go ahead and take our green banners here. We're going to place down a banner here at about a 45 degree angle and same thing over here on this side on this dark oak wood stair like so. So just like that, and I'll be on both sides there. And then we then want to go, go ahead and grab ourselves a zombie head, place down a zombie head on this green terracotta block and this dark oak wood corner stair. We then want to place down a uh, dark oak wood trap door on top of this dark oak wood stair. And around this uh, dark oak wood trap door, we're gonna go ahead and take some banners and wrap it around like so. And uh, once you have that all complete, you have your top gun uh, complete up on top here, all of our details. And that right there will wrap up our design for the M551 uh, Sheridan Armored Reconnaissance SAS Airborne Assault Vehicle. Anyways, I hope you guys do enjoy the design for this build. If you guys do decide to use it, I do ask you guys to give me proper credit for it. This be a thing from the sign of the build, tweak to my channel, or this video if this does appear in social media sites. As always, you guys give me credit for the build. Your free user for every project you guys are working on. Overall, enjoy the build. Have fun with it and all that fun stuff. Again, a big congrats to Gavin's videos for making this uh, tutorial possible. And for uh, winning that uh, contest on my community page. And of course, always be sure to check out my community page to have more opportunities for a chance to win a vehicle of your choice. Anyways, that's going to do it for this tutorial. Thank you guys all so much for watching. As always, don't, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Garrett 2x4. And I'll see you guys next time.